Hi, I'm Peter Wade, I'm UK Sales Manager for Mega Limited, and today I'm here with Pulse in one of their test bays to show you how you can test an RCD or RCBO using our X1 multifunction tester. Carrying an RCD test, what does that mean? Well, basically what you're trying to do is find out how quickly an RCD will trip and protect the circuit under a fault condition. There are set limits for this in the um, BS7671 um, and we need to abide by it. Now what I'll do on the X1 is I'll show you our configurator, which is an auto test feature that we have on there, allowing you to carry out a number of tests at the same time. First off, we'll put it onto RCD, and you can see on here now that the configurator that I have already set up is for half times, one times, five times, and a ramp test, both in the zero and the 180. The regulations now call for just a one times test to be carried out on an AC setting. That's fine, I can reconfigurate this now to do that. So I need to go to the settings, scroll along to the RCD tab, then come down to my configurator at the bottom, press the tick button to get into it, and now we've got that same grid. So I'm going to disable the half, the five. And to do that, you move the box along and press the disable able button. So now it's grayed out, that's not gonna be a test function. I can then move it across again to the five times and take that out as well. So now I'm left with the, half, the one and the ramp, if I tick that box again and go back to my settings, you'll now see that I'm only going to be testing the one times test and the ramp test. I now select to make sure that I've got it on 30 milliamps, which is the RCD that I'm testing, and I've got it on the A setting, so I need to change that to AC to meet the regulations, and I just make sure that I've got that on 30 again. So I'm doing an AC test, one times the current, a ramp test at 30 milliamps on an auto feature to do the RCD. I'll do that test now. I can plug either the plug setting into the unit or you could use your standard red, blue and green leads and an adapter. It's entirely up to you. So we put in the live, the earth and the neutral. We've got them settings in there. We take the plug, plug it into the circuit, turn it on and you'll see on the widget there, there's a voltage between live and earth. That's saying it's okay to go. So now I can just press my test button. Once I press my test button, it will do the first test. It will trip the RCD. You will need to reset that to instigate the next test and so forth all through the four tests that I'm doing. So I'll press test there. It's tripped out and you heard the breaker go. Now I'm just gonna lean over and switch it back in. It's already jumped onto the next test. Now we're doing the ramp test. And the final ramp test. I'll leave it plugged off, uh, switched off, sorry. So what we've got there is we've got two settings of time, um, both in the positive side and the negative side of the sine wave, and also the ramp test in the same, because we do them tests because we don't know when the fault's gonna occur. It could be in the positive cycle or negative cycle. So you take the worst case, which is the highest number, and record the, the highest number. That is the slowest time to take. So in this case, it was 35.3 milliseconds. And the ramp test on this case, exactly the same, 23.4. So that's a reasonable breaker in that box. And that's an RCD test. As I mentioned earlier, the regs call to be done as an AC setting on a one times test, that's great. If you've got an A breaker, there is a DC element within that breaker. What you should really do also is then reset this setting to A and carry out the same tests again and see the difference in the values. If they are worse the values, they are the values that I would recall on my test sheets. And that's how you do an RCD test. I'd just like to thank you for your time today and for your interest we have a number of other videos on the X1 uh, where we are doing the installation test, loop impedance test and continuity testing. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask you can come back to a member of the team or drop a comment in the comment box below.
Again, thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed the video.